Yes, sir, you're on the Yankees YouTube channel. What's up guys and welcome back to Yankee's YouTube channel. In this episode we're going to go over the Amazon LS swap harness that I got. One of the biggest complaints in the reviews is the poor instruction manual, although I did not get a photocopied version. After testing the harness, I have confirmed that all the labels here are correct. The relays do not go to any systems I have, so I will be ignoring those wires. One of my major concerns was that the pinouts on these connectors were going to be in the wrong location, so we check every single one. We're using our multimeter in order to test to make sure that none of these are stray and they're all going to the right pin. The last thing that you want is a sensor getting overloaded with power or your PCM. That can be disastrous. And of course, for reference, we're using LT1Swap.com. After each wire is tested, that's when the label goes on. Once the label's on, that's how we know that the circuit has been tested and is good to go. Remember, don't get overwhelmed because this is a tedious process, but in the end, it will all work out. Another test that we performed is that the wires will self-extinguish when ignited. This will make sure that your ride does not burn to the ground, baby. Inspecting the wire section that we burnt shows that it looks like copper. Alright, I hope this helps in guiding you to your LS swap harness purchase. A link to this harness can be found in the description below. If you found the information in this video helpful, consider subscribing or liking or leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now, you hear?